paused by this modern Thousands of years of history paused by this modern pandemic. So there we are, plexiglass. Yes, yeah, we are plexiglass because the people, I'm sure that they are afraid. So they want to, to feel safe. Mm, mm, mm. And as I told you, our motto safety is first. safety first. Yeah. Greek officials are ready to jumpstart an ailing economy. Their culture minister took us on a tour of the Parthenon, one of the most visited sites on earth, the temple of Greek goddess Athena. I suppose it's appropriate that we're in the temple to Athena, the goddess of wisdom, and Greece had a wise approach to coronavirus. Is that true? Is that fair That's to true. say? Yeah. But with reopening comes adjustments. Six foot markings on the 19th century marble and a 90% drop in permitted visitors. There were many days that uh, Acropolis could be visited by almost 20,000 people. Now, for these days, and the Acropolis should be about 2,000. Wow, you're it's going to slash the number from course, 20 to 2,000. Yeah. But still a sense of relief. It's freedom. Um, After 60 days, especially for Greek people. Greece has had extraordinary success so far in the fight against coronavirus. A population of around 11 million has seen just 165 deaths from under 3,000 cases. Not a single health worker has died. But how? Officials here point to one major strategy, screening at the airport for every single passenger coming in since March 20. You have to fill out a form and then everybody on that plane has a mouth swab. Citizens who test negative are able to go home but must quarantine for 14 days. Positive cases remain at the hotel and are given medical assistance. There are no exceptions. <laughs> Results take 24 hours. Visitors, including citizens, are transported to specially designated hotels to wait for them. But the testing is only the beginning. This is the control room of the Civil Protection Authority here in Greece. And it's basically the war room. It's where they map coronavirus, where they can see who's got it, who's come into contact with people. They know who've got it. The information is so detailed. They can zoom right down into a specific area and identify the individual who's currently in quarantine. Their early preventative measures may have spared them the worst. H how much of a difference do you think it made closing the border on the 20th of March? It's, it was very vital to close the borders. It was very vital to close the schools. It was very vital to, um, and, you know, just look down the, the country. But Greece, like other nations, is about to face its biggest challenge yet, summer tourism. They plan to reopen to international travellers by July 1st. So one of the islands, Mykonos, yes. this is a place where you didn't have very much coronavirus, yes. but I'm thousands of people are going to visit Mykonos, and at the moment you only have how many beds? Three beds. Three but coronavirus Three beds. dedicated beds for coronavirus. Right. This can be something different. So. Only three dedicated beds for coronavirus right now on a massive holiday island, but you're yep. going to have to think about how to change yes, we that. we have to restructure this. Or transfer them. Or transfer them. Barring foreigners from coming in is not something Greece can afford. Tourism accounts for 18% of the country's GDP and employs one-fifth of its workforce. We headed down to one of the most popular islands, Santorini, to see what changes are being made ahead of the now delayed tourist season. How will a vacation be different now? The difference is going to be, I think, in uh, this season, it's going to be the distance. I would guess they're going to be in our home, mm. and they're going to be like our home. And we're going to take care of them, so they must come safe and live safe. Social distancing enforced on the beaches, maybe even plexiglass partitions to separate sun loungers. But can any of this even work? It's the small bread to catch the big fish. <laughs> this is the idea of the plexiglass. I never dream our beaches to be with plexiglass, but safety, with distance, with all this, we are ready. You're going to go first. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Amphi runs a boat touring company. She'll have to reduce the number of people she's allowed to take. But today is her first day back on her boat. Okay. How does it feel to be back out on the water? Free. Free? Free, yes. So you can uh, breathe, you have the, the sea breeze over here, and uh, you don't see any at the horizon, you see an open horizon. Nothing that you have to, to worry about. I know, how was it uh, sitting here on this beautiful island, watching the world melt down? 
I, I felt lucky. I felt really lucky on one hand. On the other hand, I was really worried about uh, the people that I have already met around the world. And uh, when we keep uh, texting, uh, texting each other and they tell me how bad the situation is in their areas, I wish I could bring them here. Greece has protected the health of its citizens. Now its economic well-being is on the line. After the hell of lockdown, paradise like this will be a major draw for people around the world. Opening these islands up again is a gamble, but for Anthe at least, it's one they must take. So, when will your first booking be? Do you know when? I had my first yesterday. Oh, wow! I don't know how this is. And, um, how do you feel about it? Uh, I think this... Uh, I felt like, you know, the combination of uh, yesterday's booking and today for, with us being here on the boat again, I feel like uh, it was a nightmare, everything from before, and now I think very positive and uh, I look forward to it. <laughs> James Longman, ABC News, Santorini in Greece.